lesson is really about vocabulary and kind of getting used to the words I'm starting to be using to talk to you through using Photoshop. So let's get into Photoshop and see what I'm talking about. I brought in a picture that I did last year and I want to show you how I can take something that I've already painted or in the process of painting and make big changes using a special area in Photoshop. If you've been following along, you know what this thing is called. You know what this is used for. But I haven't really talked about this area up here. If you've used any kind of computer program, you know that it exists up here. What the heck is it called? Some people get why they like not using the words, but you're going to have to know the vocabulary for this course. So we're looking at the menu bar. And the menu bar is just a series of words that get you to commands that do things for you. You're not painting with a tool, you're letting the computer do some work for you. That's the beauty of the computer. Let it do the stuff for you. Why work so hard? So one of the common commands we have here is file. Everybody knows about new and open, save and print. But over here where we get into edit, you might have seen edit in another program, but now we're getting into a lot more things that are specific about Photoshop. Like, well, first of all, let me do this. I'm going to try and make my picture not asymmetrical, but symmetrical. I want two halves to be exactly alike. That would take me a long time to repaint. But if I come up here to a menu and choose something like coffee, oh, I've heard that before. What is that do in Photoshop? If I go over here to layers, there's my one layer. Come over here and do paste. And oh, there's my copy sitting right on top of the blue stuff. I want to move around so you can see that it's there. If I come up here and do edit, transform, flip, let's go horizontal. And now I take my move tool and move it over. I can make it a symmetrical painting. I don't know that I like that. So let me get rid of that layer. Let's go back to where we were. Let's maybe make this into another kind of medium. Oil paints, watercolor, since that is a filter menu, there's the command artistic watercolor. And son of a gun. Okay. Right here. Let's turn it into a different kind of media. Something like a watercolor paint. I want to cancel that. I can paint through the filter and do something like this. Do what? Let's do pinch. Okay, this is a slider. I'm going to, right now, let's make it small. Let's see what I'm doing. It's too small. Whoop. I'm going to bolt, sucker in. This is a pinch. I'm going to bulge her out. The, the balloon. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see how much fun these colors. Let's get out of that. So, as a review, you got your tools to paint with. You have your option bar to change what the tools do. And you have your menu to let the computer choose some, do some tasks for you by choosing commands under the menus. Well, hope that clarifies that for you. Enjoy painting. See you in class.